Hey folks, a while ago I showed off the iridescence of my begonia pavonina and here you can see the bright iridescence of my begonia taconite and it is in bloom and somebody recently requested, they left me a comment so that I can shine the flashlight like I did with the begonia pavonina on the Selaginella uncinata and compare that with the Selaginella wendelloi. But first, I'm going to shine the flashlight on the begonia taconite. So now, as I adjust the illumination, you can see it changing a little bit. Like right here, it's green. Change the angle, and you can see that bright blue, that like electric blue iridescence. It's just so awesome. And one nice thing about the begonia taco night is that it supposedly can survive colder climates like zone 7. And I look forward to being able to plant one in the ground soon and watch it grow back every spring. So in the meantime, I have it in the pot, but there are some changes coming in a little over a month or so. So we're buying this one property with a nice yard that I can start doing um, I want to start like a backyard nursery so stay tuned if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe so you can enjoy any upcoming videos regarding that and I'll try to talk about any legalities and things like that as I do and with my experiences starting the nursery so now with no further ado let us test out the Selaginella uncinata and Selaginella wildenoi under changing the illumination angle from the flashlight. Here I have the Selaginella uncinata, and here the Selaginella wildenoi. I had taken some cuttings to propagate, but they, um, they didn't seem to do very well, so I'm still working on getting them just right. I don't know if I had them in too much humidity, and maybe they needed a little less to keep them from rotting. But also, they did start to grow, and you can see the growing tips. They're smaller because these grow differently when you acquire it from when you buy it based on the environment and most plants typically do. The Selaginella and Sonata was nice and green but then it grew out the edges and the older pieces started to die but you can see younger growth in the middle too. So now we're going to shine the flashlight and assess. So you look at the Selaginella and uh, um, Sonata almost uh, getting forgetful and you can see the slight blue iridescence like you look around here and there and how it changes with the angle and like right there you can see that blue versus less blue right there is green versus bluer and the Selegina will denoi you can see how I change the angle it goes from green to bluish and right there's a good angle. So looking at both of these iridescent simultaneously, you can get an idea of the Selaginella wildenoi. It seems to pop more and iridesce a lot more readily than the Selaginella uncinata. Yet the Selaginella uncinata can handle colder climates and it grows really well and is a very inexpensive plant as opposed to the Weldenoi, which is a much more expensive plant. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and the comparison between the Selaginella uncinata and the Selaginella Weldenoi in their iridescence. And I also enjoyed observing the Begonia pavonina and Taconite in their iridescences. Thanks for watching and happy planting.